So, um, hey, two of swords, eight of swords, together is a ten of swords. What's going on? We do have mental conflict and trapped in fear. What's going on? It's a lot of swords for a water sign. Come on. We can pull from this. It's possible. It's just a matter of time. Two of swords, six of cups. We miss somebody. We really miss somebody. Memories of love, right? This is the soulmate bond. This is the love that we've lost. Um, this is the desires we have going through the communications and whatever was shared between us and and remembering the time, right? We are still in love with them. So let's see what's going on. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. We think a lot about movement, decisions and choices. We might have choices that we are exploring and we can't just yet make a decision we might feel blindfolded there two of swords five of cups this is the energy miss emotional loss right this is missing longing mourning the loss of somebody this is i miss you like crazy and thinking about this person what's going on Pisces? what's going on we are so romantic let's see bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time and we have rejection. What happened? Financial and material changes, but we know this is about rejection. This is about no thank you. Blocking, nine of wands. And we have the Sagittarius energy, the temperance. And we have the justice energy, uh, Libra. Balance and patience, rejection and spiritual strength. So we kind of have a pretty good idea of what happened, right? Uh, we grew uh, spiritually from a rejection, right? That's the five of pentacles with the nine of wands. And now we are uh, patient about and we are trying to find balance. Can be a Libra energy, can be a Sagittarius energy here. But before we jump to conclusions, let's see what's going on. So we do have past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, right? And Ace of Cups, I love this. Sacrificing for stability and love, and the Empress. Might be a very abundant energy and nurturing and kind that we want. We uh, observe it at the distance and we want to offer a new beginning here. That is this energy or they want to offer you Pisces. They see you as the Empress and they want to offer this energy of um, Ace of Pentacles. We can build a future. Ace of Cups. This is my new cup of love. So let's see Pisces. Let's see in the past you and this person. We had to be patient. Oh boy, we had to be patient, right? Uh, patience and planning and awareness. This is the energy Pisces of you. And I'm sure this might be kind of a new connection here. Because in the recent past, we got awakened to some emotions here. Maybe to the possibility, right? Um, we started with the rejection and now we have the awareness, right? So that was a no thank you from this person, from you. And then we got awakened to this energy that we want. And then we had to be patient. Um, we have compromise and justice. So it required maybe legal action, maybe to be patient, maybe to be planning in order for you to, um, you know, deal with whatever understanding came out of a situation that required, again, legalities, patience, um, spiritual strength, right? And, um, and fighting. And um, I do love the magician. This is you having a plan. This is you being smarter. This is you awakening. This is you feeling more and more confident as you've built your plan on how to reach um, out to this person. Now, this person of yours, uh, we do have rejection. Maybe that there was a disruption, right? And the four of wands. They um, wanted to offer stability and, um, you know, to work on this. Um, you know, they wanted to be your kind of uh, rock solid energy with the four of wands, roots, family commitment. And then there was a disruption. Their world was fully shattered. 
their foundation was shattered their achievements it's all here disruption in achievements disruption in foundation this is the energy of losing everything the minute they've lost you or there was a rejection right doesn't have to be um, necessarily a marriage or a commitment once there was rejection and separation their world got in pieces while you got awakened to some form of energies and in the past mutual energies between you and this person conflict and defeat and a world of wisdom and solitude right five of swords might have been with um, justice and the five of swords for some of you might have been a divorce might have been a separation might have been something that involved legalities and pieces of paper and then the hermit the silence the wisdom the retreat the understanding stepping back looking at the whole picture and saying you know what actually i have some understanding of some sort you know um and because whatever whatever this was hit you in different ways right um it was a, a big disruption for them it was a big awakening for you you don't have the um the magician and the hermit right energies from spirituality and energies from within a realization of some sort um now where are we right now pisces we are standing our ground and we are uh, contemplating movement choices and decisions I'm sensing a bit of duality here, um, Pisces. That is this energy of standing your ground. It's like, no, maybe no, I'm not gonna, um, you know, I've made a choice in the past and I have to stay by my choice, by my choice. I have to stay by my values. Well, if I said no, well, why would I? And then we have the two of pentacles, right? Weighing the situation. Um, it's from a place of, um, of real common sense right the pentacles is the everyday life and the common sense and and whatever makes us stable so from that place we have you um wanting to have some movement some choices and decisions right and then fighting back um probably the awakening probably the choices probably this new beginning um you know whatever you feel is not in line with whatever choices you've made in the past well, the universe is saying new beginnings, Pisces. We do have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Fool, right? So we are in a new beginning right now. This person of yours um, is going through major transformations. They had disruption in the past. They have the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune. This is going with the flow and enabling new beginnings, enabling um, energies of whatever come, comes my way. I'll be open to it. And it's also the energy of taking a leap of faith, but understanding that actually the destiny is way stronger. Mutual energies between the two of you, Pisces, they desire you and wish fulfillment. So both of you desire each other. Nine of Cups is uh, fulfillment of wishes. This is everything I ever wanted. And then you show up here. That is still this energy of shadows between the two of you. Probably there is no doubt about the desire, but everything else might be in the shadows that is might be a sense of fear uh, we had to fight we had to stand our ground we've been rejected we went through a spiritual awakening and strengthening um, and that is this energy of i might still be a little bit in the dark but not about my desire right nine of cups and um and you know your energy of being conflicted but at least again you take the side right you take the side you resonate the most with um might keep them in this energy of okay i'll i'll take whatever comes my way i'll go with the flow and see what the universe brings uh, my way right i'm not in a rush i'm not in a hurry that's the energy moving forward pisces on your side we do have the two of swords which is the energy of mental conflict and discontent and boredom I don't know what's going on, but I'm not sensing that you want to make a move here. We still have you a little bit blindfolded and thinking too much, but in the same time, we desire excitement. We want excitement. We want things to move forward. And right now, kind of the universe is saying, well, we might not be focusing on the right cups, right? We might not be seeing the new beginning that the universe is giving you. Ace of cups, ace of pentacles. Absolutely balancing new beginnings one is a uh, balance and one is, one is patience 
again libra sagittarius energy here this person of yours they are heartbroken pisces uh three of swords and uh memories of love right this is my amy sue energy this is being reminiscent about the past longing the soulmate bond that we know we have and the three of swords heartache and loss pain heartbreak they are heartbroken over you and you're still in pain and pisces between you and this person we do have the devil and we do have the five of cups this is my i miss you like crazy energy and then the devil the temptation can be a capricorn between you and this person they might be a capricorn and their energy is all over your energy um in terms of um in terms of temptation but also missing longing wanting mourning the loss um the loss of you you know they do have two offers for you ace of cups with the ace of pentacles right let's build something solid let's have an, an emotional bond um six of cups right i still think about you i still love you emotional loss this is i miss you but hey um somebody here is uh, willing to go with the flow and um allow the universe to to show them the way right And you are fighting with yourself and I wonder why Pisces and uh, seven of wands standing your ground two of swords mental conflict right it's like you are fighting with yourself um, and we have the devil and then we have the moon kind of in somebody is in the shadow somebody is so clear they are so clear about their love and their wish fulfillment and the offerings that they want to make to balance uh, this out and whatever doubt you might have is actually hurting them right three of swords um so pisces let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to know here let's see what we need to do but boy you are so loved pisces so pisces you are limitless you can do anything you choose so probably when you feel conflicted like this seven of wands or you need to be patient uh, mental conflict right standing your ground fighting for your values actually the universe is reminding you you are limitless you don't have to it's okay to be cautious but um you have right you can choose and you can run with your choice you can do anything you choose pisces the heart of the matter that is more going on than meets the eye that is more going on than meets the eye and we do have forgiveness you are limitless and now forgiveness nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointment right nothing is go not, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments we need to forgive them uh they might have done something and uh, that is um you know that is a deeper understanding that probably you don't have you know the universe is saying that is more going on than meets the um the eye so if they've done something and it looks like a disappointment and it looks like um well actually that is a reason for it we need to forgive and make your choice right we do have free yourself prices it's time to take back control of your life so we need to release somebody in order to have these beautiful new beginnings we do have passion free yourself and passion allow your heart and soul to think to sing with joy and we do have honeymoon you need to free yourself from something remember that you are limitless you can make any choice you want in regards to your life and then you'll have passion and honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together you are loved by sis you are loved they long for you and they want you there was a rejection um I, this this connection doesn't feel like something that you had a bond with at all right on the contrary there was rejection and then there was a boom of some sort um and um ever since this person is going with the flow on your side you kind of try to make choices here after an awakening of some sort but we have you are limitless free yourself 
and allow passion and celebrations and spend time with this person. Now let's see the energies we need to get back into the flow. We do have surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. It's interesting. For some of you, it's actually the opposite, right? Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. You have free yourself and non-action. Quite interesting. We do have humor. We need to be more funny. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. We do have creativity. You, lo you love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. We need to be creative, humorous, right? Um, stand back a bit and now we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Mistakes were done here for both of you, I guess. Bottom of the deck evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path of love. It's interesting. This one speaks of I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn and then you have it again. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So there are lessons in this um, Pisces. This is what I'm hearing from the universe kind of with the energies you've got. There were lessons, awakenings, um, you know, um, coming back into a form of balance and wisdom. I mean, you get you got the hermit twice. Um, so a lot of wisdom came from, with this experience. And now a lot of passion and honeymoon energies can come with this. Um, you know, as long as we free ourselves from something. Um, so yeah, Pisces, this is all that I have for you guys. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay strong and safe for me. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.